All right, so here I have this example common filter code. I've got my sensor updating every 10 seconds. I've got my model dynamics, negative 3.2. I've got my sensor block here, which this if statement here basically keeps track of updating every 10 seconds. I've got a noise variable here, which is just a sine wave. And then uh, here is my sensor output y, which is x plus v. Um, so the state itself, and then, uh, yeah, actually, I think, I think the state should be the input. And then I'm measuring, I'm measuring the first element of the state. So um, the, let's see. So I've got a controller where state, the first element is x, and then the second element is x model. Okay, so I, I, think, I think this is where I'm getting, getting messed up here. So I think this just needs to be x. The control, I think, just needs to be x model. And so I just need that to be the input. Okay, and then my x command is 1. E is x command minus x model. I need a kp on here, right, times e. Um, oh, I need kp. So I'm going to make, what, kp equal to 0, I don't know, 5. Um, let's see my covariance engine. So this is going to integrate my covariance dynamics. So this isn't the co the uh, expectation of my model noise. So my model my model noise my model noise is like 0 0.1. So I'm going to make I'm going to make that equal to 0 0.1. Uh, F tilde p plus p f tilde plus q. This is 1d. So you could you could combine. I guess you can combine those. Uh, but I'm going to leave it just just in case. Um, my physics engine. So I just I just want to integrate x by itself so i'm just going to say you know return um, x dot and then i guess i'm going to have another engine for my model dynamics my model engine t comma uh, x model u and then rather than pulling this out of the state vector i'm just going to have this i'm going to move this down to my model dynamics and so that should be good. Um, return xm xm dot. This is going to be my disturbance here. I, I, I need f tilde in my model dynamics. That's going to be over here. It looks like I have quite a large disturbance. So down here when I am... Oh, so that's my noise. I'm sorry. So q is my model noise. So that needs to be 1.0. My sensor noise is 0 0.1. So I'm going to make r r equal to 0 0.1. Uh, so here I call the controller, so I need to call the, I need to send it the model, but I also need to, over here, edit my variables. So I'm going to have x out the np zeros length of t out 1. I'm going to have x model out, just equal x out. Uh, they're all the same. I'm going to do 0 times x out, just to make sure I don't have, I don't deal with um, size issues. Uh, it doesn't like this, but whatever. All right, so there's x0, xm0, p0. I don't need a state zero anymore. Um, I really don't even need these initial conditions. I just need x is, I guess the initial condition of x, I'm just going to make one, zero. The initial condition of x model, I'm going to make zero. And my initial covariance, I'm just going to assume is zero. Uh, hopefully that's okay. T final, T in inch time step, that looks all good. X out, XM out, P out, U out. Uh, and then T measure and Y bar out. Okay, so then I'm going to loop through zero to the length of time. I'm going to call the controller. And so the controller is going to send an X and return U. And then I'm going to save the states for plotting. So that's X out of counter equals X. Um, XM out of counter is equal to X model. And then p out of counter is p, and then u out of counter is u, and then I need to. Ex I think that's it for those. I need to. Oh, okay. Now I see what's happening. I missed the parentheses up there. Okay, then see if we have a new measurement. So send the measurement x. Right. The sensor just takes in x, and it returns y. If y is not equal to 99. So if you look up here in this code, I have an if statement here that says like. If it's been 10 seconds since the last update, then update. If not, return 99. So if it returns 99, it's going to skip this. If it doesn't, it's going to run through this update cycle. So first, it's going to set the Y bar to Y, which I don't know why I did that. I can just do Y bar and Y bar and then just delete this. 
And then R is the estimate of the sensor noise, which is 0.1, so that's right. Uh, K is the common gain matrix. And then I need to update the state, so that's X equals X plus K times Y bar minus X. And then get a new co then update the covariance, so it's P equals 1 minus K times P. And then I'm going to add the measurements here and here. Then I need to integrate using a common filter, or sorry, using an RK4. And the reason why you have to use an RK4 is because you're using a, you're doing like a discrete integrator and you're updating the state like in the middle. Um, so then you step the state. So you need to do this for the model dynamics. Oh shit. You need to do this for the model dynamics and the covariance. So basically this is gonna be, rather than physics engine, it's going to be model engine and I'm gonna send it XM, and then this is gonna be XM, 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 and then that's all good, and then XM plus, e plus equals phi times time step. And then instead of physics engine and model engine, I'm gonna do covariance engine, and so change the, oh, I only changed model engine once, so model engine, physics engine, model engine, so I could have done just one RK4 for the whole thing and kept all the states together, but I just wanted to separate them. It just it made more sense in my head. Um, it's up to you how you want to do it. Covariance engine, covariance, covariance engine. And then I think the covariance engine takes in T and P. So I don't actually have to send it to send it you. I just send it T and P. So get rid of the U's. Oop. Oh god. Actually, why do I keep hitting insert? It's kind of weird. Uh, let's see, T and P, T and, okay, so here's P, 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 and then P plus equals phi times time step, and then that should be it. So then if I want to plot the state, I just plot X out, and if I want to plot the model, I just do X model out. I can plot the state measurements and then we can plot the control input. And then let's go ahead and plot the covariance uh, P out. And then let's see, it's gonna be plt.grid, plt.xlabel, time in seconds, plt.ylabel is covariance and then PLT, there's no legend, and then I have a show at the bottom. I need a PLT.close here. All right, so let's see if this worked. Uh, global name state not defined. All right, so this is just X. Covariance engine takes in two arguments, but three are given, so I must have, oh yeah, I forgot to get off, leave off the T here. Oh crap, I forgot to change the, uh, the back end. Uh, what is it? Uh, tools, preferences, uh, IPython console, graphics, um, automatic, apply, okay, and then restart the kernel. Okay, and then hit a five. Okay, so there's the control input, there's the covariance. So, Let's see, the model is going down to zero. The state, state is doing this. I don't see any jumps though. Like it's supposed to be jumping. Looks like the covariance is jumping. So I think if we make, I forget how this works, if you, if you make R really, really big, it means that your sensors are really bad, right? Let's get rid of the model noise for a second here. So let's do zero times them. So that way it's just like the, the model is different than that. So let's say our, let's, let's assume that our sensors are really, really good, which they're not, but that's fine. And then let's assume that our model is really, really bad. Let's see how that works. There you go. Okay, yeah, that see that see that now the system's like jumping. Okay, so 
this is how kind of a com common filter operates. So you have the state vector and you integrate and you're integrating the model. Oh, we see. Oh, I see what's happening. The model is supposed to jump. I'm, I was updating the state. That was my bad. Okay, so here I'm saying get a new mo uh, yeah, I put I said model state, but I was actually integrating uh, updating the state. So it's x x model k bar minus xm. There we go. Okay. So now There you go. So basically what's happening is is you integrate the model, right? And then you get a new state, you get a new sensor update, and because I believe the sensor and I don't believe the model, I immediately update to the to the new state or sorry, the new sensor, and then integrate again, and then update, and so every 10 seconds it updates. Um, it looks like these dynamics are, are wild. It's possible that like my my uh, my controller is like too high frequency, or something like that. Yeah, that seems better. But you see here, like what's happening is is like, you know, every time we get a new update, we believe the sensor but the sensor sucks, right? So we should actually believe the model and not the sensor. So to do that, you need to believe the model and don't believe the sensor. And now what should happen is when we get a new state update, we should, we should, pra we should practically just ignore it. Yeah, we, we, we practically ignore it. And so if you had a, let's say you had a really bad model. So let's say, so right now, if you look at this, like X dot is three, right? If I made F tilde like 10, so it was really bad, now what's going to happen is your, the difference between your model, see your model and your state are completely different because your model is terrible. So it would be better is, I mean, we, we definitely need a better sensor. So let's, let's make our sensor better. And then let's not believe the model and let's believe the sensor now. And then there, in this case, now, I think we need to update faster. Like, we're not updating fast enough, right? Like, I think we need to update at, like, 100 hertz or something like that. So let's say sensor period is 0.1. What's my time step? Point, let's, let's make our time step 0.01. Hopefully that doesn't break the code. Well, that took a little bit longer than normal, but that's fine. Oh, man, that's wild. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Okay, yeah, so basically, here's our, here's our state in blue. Our sensor is pretty good. Our model sucks. So every time we get a new measurement, we update the state, and we try to get, like, a better update. The problem is, is our model is so much different than our state that in between those measurements, we just really get far away from the actual state. Um, in this case, the model is so bad that it's just, like, it's oscillating like crazy. So it might mean you need to do some better parameter estimation and things like that. Um, I think I'm going to leave it there. That's basically how a common filter works. Um, and that's a quick and dirty way to do it in Python. Uh, I'm going to push this to the uh, Git repo. It's going to be in nonlinear controls, common first order. And uh, happy coding.